Hi, Liz here from Frame and Frills. So I'm just getting ready to fix the top of this, I think it's mahogany, it's quite red, um, table top. You can see it's really pretty, East Lake Victorian table. The tabletop has got some stuff wrong with it and it is, yeah, you can see some scratches there and it's way too red for um, what I want. This is actually gonna go in our living room. So I'm gonna put some of the Fusion Gel Stain and Top Coat in the black on top of it. I did a sample board, which I'll post a picture of that on here, and the black changes it to a nice sort of dark black walnut color, um, at least on the oak. So I haven't done it on mahogany. We're gonna see how this is. You need to stir the gel stain really well. You can see in the bottom of that stick, there's still some thick um, pigment or whatever it is at the bottom of this container. And so you need to stir it really well. And then it's just a matter of brushing it on and letting it sit. This is not a brush on and wipe off like the stain and finishing, which we call um, SFO, the stain and finishing oil. This is a pigmented finish and it is meant to sit on and it levels out. Um, you do want to make sure that you don't have brush strokes when you're putting it on and then just let it be. Um, when I did the sample board, the first coat actually took two days for it to dry. And you can do one coat, you can do two coats. The more coats you do, the more opaque it gets. So you can see on that sample board how opaque two coats is. The double espresso is extremely pigmented and really covers almost completely opaque with two coats. The black um, is just, you can see on the board what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put this on quick. I'm gonna just start it here while I'm holding the phone. Okay, so you can see what this is like. So you really wanna go with the green. Just to give you an idea, I'm not gonna film this whole thing because I'm holding this with my hand and I really wanna get a better finish than this with one hand and trying to talk. I can't concentrate very well. So put it on. I'm going to do the full length of the table going with the green and then I'm going to quickly go back and in one long stroke smooth out the brush strokes. Now if you find that you're doing a really long piece and you can't get it done before it starts to feel kind of sticky with your long brush stroke, you can slightly thin it with some minerals, odorless solvent mineral spirits um, because it is oil based and so if it's feeling just a little bit too tacky, you can slightly thin it out. So that gives you an idea. It dries to a satin finish and it can go over any, basically any pre-finished laminate, for mica, it really sticks really well. It's extremely hard wearing, perfect for floors, cabinets. You wanna change the color of your wood and not have to strip it down. This might be the product for you. Check it out, Fusion Gel Stain and Top Coat.